Hello and welcome. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to be taking a look at the Roland BN20. The Roland BN20 is a desktop sized all-in-one printer cutter for Windows computers and in this video we will explain the different ink configurations available for the BN20 and cover the basics of the software included with the machine. I will even throw in a few tips and tricks that I learned from my personal experience while making this video. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the ink options. The printer can use eco-solvent inks and water-based aqueous inks. US Cutter only offers eco-solvent inks however, and that's the only thing that I'm going to discuss in today's video. When it comes to the eco-solvent inks, you have three color options to select from. The first is the standard cyan, yellow, magenta, and black colors. If you're planning on using the machine only to print heat transfer vinyl, then this is going to be a great option for you. You will still be inserting five cartridges into the printer, but two of those cartridges will be magenta cartridges. From my personal experience in making this video, you will go through those much faster than any other color. Next up is the cyan, yellow, magenta, black, and white. This is used for printing on clear or colored media packaging labels, window signs, all types of stuff. White ink can also be used as a spot color or an undercoat to increase the brightness of items you've printed on. Then finally we have the cyan, yellow, magenta, black, and metallic silver. The metallic silver ink can be used as a spot color or combined with the CMYK to create over 500 metallic and pearlescent colors. Whatever color ink you decide to load into your machine is going to be the only ink that you can use in it from now on. If you ever try to switch to another color, it would ruin the machine. The machine that I will be using today is going to be using the standard cyan, yellow, magenta, and black setup. When it comes to the thickness of what you can print and cut inside the machine, Roland has said that these are the maximum print thicknesses and then cut thicknesses with liners that you want to feed into the machine for that job. The maximum print and cut width is 18.9 inches and can accept materials as wide as 20.3 inches all the way down and as small as 6 inches and then can also fit 2 inch or 3 inch cores on the roller bar. The BN20 that I'm using in today's video was originally set up in our storefront located in our Redmond office. If you are ever in the area, be sure to come and stop by for a visit. The BN20 is made by Roland, so it uses Roland brand blades as well as Roland compatible blades just like all of the US cutter machines that we offer. So I have plenty of these around the office and at home that I can use. If you would like to learn more about the different types of blades and degrees that we offer for Roland compatible blades, please check out the quick cuts video that I did earlier this year that covers all of that in detail. Next we want to install the media roller. You want the fixed flange at the bottom. That's going to be the one that stays still and doesn't slide because of the pin going through it. You also always want your media right up against that fixed flange at the bottom with no gaps. This is going to ensure that it feeds straight into the machine. You will then put the other flange on and load it into the BN20 with the media feeding in so that the printing side of the vinyl is on top. If we're standing behind the machine looking at it, then we wanted the fixed flange with the media right up against it to go into the left side. If we are looking at it from the front, it would be the right side. Anyways, make sure that it's pressed in nice and firmly like it says. On the other side with the loose flange, you'll have the lever for the pinch rollers. Before you pull the media through and pull that latch down, you want to slide the media guide over so that it touches the loose flange. This will allow you to feed the media underneath the guides up front. You never want to try and slide it underneath the media guides up front from the side. This could cause them to bend 
and it is much easier to just go from behind after lining up the media guides like I've just shown you. Once everything's lined up, we're ready to place the pinch rollers down, and to do that, we're just going to push this lever forward. As soon as you do that, and if the front cover of the machine is closed, the BN20 will automatically start to scan the media to see the size of it. If everything's loaded in correctly and straight, it will finish scanning and have a solid blue light with nothing to report on your computer screen. If it has an error, it will beep at you, and the blue light on it will blink, and it will report that it has an error to you in the BN20 monitoring tool. The Roland BN20 comes with the RWorks software and then also VersaWorks. The RWorks is an actual cut and design software, while VersaWorks is really just a RIP software. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at RWorks. This program has all of your basic features like shape design and node editing tools, while also allowing you to import images and allowing you to create basic print and cut files. It works in layers. Each design will have a print layer and cut layer. For example, I imported the image with the print layer selected. But when I select the cut layer and choose a rectangle, the edges of it will become the cut path that my blade will take. I want to remove the filling and make it transparent so that the outline will be a bright color that I will notice. When I go to send the job to the BN20, you have several options. In the layout, you can change the size of the media, size of the job, position of it, and also increase the number of repetitions of the same job inside the previously stated media area. The second option is the print settings, and here's where we can set it up to whatever type of media we're going to be printing on. My printer is using the CMYK, as I mentioned before, and I also have an option to return it to the original origin point after printing, and then I can also turn on the bi-directional printing and add a timer for it to dry before cutting. It also has some clip art, and if you don't have any cutting software at all, this will get you cutting, although I will be honest with you, Roland is no longer updating or supporting this software as it has reached its end of life. The other piece of software that comes with it is VersaWorks RIP software. This software you can load images in to print directly from VersaWorks, but it does not have a feature that will allow you to do complicated contours. You can only cut around the outside of the image if you're only using that in VersaWorks. If you would like to do a more advanced print and cut design and already have a copy of Adobe Illustrator, then you're in luck. This is actually the program that VersaWorks offers the most instruction for. So if you already have a copy of Adobe Illustrator, then you're in luck. It's actually pretty easy, and I'll show you very quickly on this image of the guy jumping. I'm going to create a square over the image, and as you see, I have it set to not have any filling. What you're going to do is change the stroke on the outside. You're going to want to create a new stroke and you want to call it Cut Contour. Two capital C's, capital Cut, capital Contour, all one word just like you see here. Make sure to set the color type to Spot Color and feel free to make it whatever color you like. This is a special stroke that was made just for the Roland that the VersaWorks program can pick up on and perform a contour cut with ease. You will want to save the file as a PDF with no compression or anything at all so that it preserves the image quality perfectly at the highest quality possible. When you load your created PDF file into VersaWorks, you will see that when you select it, inside the document information that it has a letter A next to the special items column. This indicates that it has a contour cut line that it found. If you're curious about this process and want to see it in finer detail, 
I have a video link that Roland made showing you how to do this, and there's also a great deal of information in the help guide for the VersaWorks software. Other cut jobs that I made in other programs are loaded directly into VersaWorks without doing this will not have the contour cut lines. While we are here, let's take a look at the job settings. You can access the job settings by double clicking the job in the queue or by highlighting it and then by clicking the gear down below. We have several different tabs indicated by these icons over on the left hand side. We are in the media settings by default and that's going to be the very top tab. We can put the media size in manually or as you know the machine scans the media as soon as we stick it in. So all we have to do is click this get media with and the machine will automatically put it in for you. This tab also allows you to move and scale the image on media with the preview right there until you are satisfied. You can also make copies, adjust spacing, mirror and change the orientation of the image before printing from this tab. The next tab below is the quality settings tab. This is important because you want to make sure that you select the correct type of media that you're going to be printing on. Adhesive vinyl, HTV, or whatever, you will select it here and tweak the colors as you like. Below that is the color level adjustments, increase or decrease certain color values, as well as the brightness and contrast. I'm going to skip everything else and then go down to the cut icon. This will have all my options for cutting. You can even perform the cut before printing, or even just perform a print, or just perform a cut. You can even perform the cut before printing, or just perform a print, or just perform a cut. If you plan on making stickers for long-term outdoor usage, then you are going to want to print, and then laminate, and then cut. Now finally, we have a number of customers that contact us interested in purchasing a 28 inch cutter with arms after they've gotten used to using their Roland BN20. This is so that they can have their BN20 constantly printing while the other machine is cutting. If you're doing a large amount of stickers or a lot of HTV, this may be a better option for you. This also enables you to use our Vinyl Master Cut software with the Roland BN20, giving you the ability to create complex contour work cuts with ease. This video is already pretty long, so I'm going to try and show you this as quick as possible. And keep in mind that I have shown all of this contour cutting, how to create the contour cut in Vinyl Master in detail in previous videos. And I'll be sure to link that up above and down in the video description below. You can see that I have my contour lines drawn around some of the outsides of my images. And then on others, I brought it in a little bit so that it doesn't show any white space around the outside of the image. I will then select the contour cut apple located in the static toolbar up top and select the second option contour cut wizard to bring up the pop-up window. For this example I'm going to be using our Titan 3 vinyl cutter. It has the arms contour cutting feature and also has the ability to do barcode scanning. You can see in the cutting device top up box I have all of that checked as well too. Below that we have our printing device window and I want to select save as PDF. Below that, I can also change the mark position and calibrate before I save it. Please go watch the Quick Cuts video on those subjects as I mentioned before if you're interested in seeing that. I'm not going to go into detail in this video. I'm just going to save the PDF. Once we have the file saved, I just want to pick up the PDF and drag and drop it in VersaWorks. The VersaWorks RIP software is very easy. I just drag and drop the file that I just saved into VersaWorks and then print it. Once it's finished printing, I just want to go back into Vinyl Master and click Add Cut Job, and that will add the job to the barcode scanner. The cool thing about the barcode feature is that it saves the job file number and also puts that job file number on the media that you just printed. That way, if you happen to shut down the program or print it and then come back a day later and want to cut it, you can just open the barcode controller wizard by clicking it at the bottom of the pop-up window, and that will bring up another pop-up. Inside the barcode controller pop-up, 
you want to go to the Jobs drop-down menu and select Load Job. Type the job number in that appears on your printed media and then it will pop up and tell you the location to place the laser. Once it actually starts contour cutting, it gives you updates on what it's doing live on the screen. My stickers are printed using the Green Star Outdoor printable vinyl and then I laminated them with the Auraguard 290G. I print them out and let them dry and degas over the weekend and then using the CWT 1428 table to press the laminate evenly across the top. If you've ever laminated before, you might notice that I'm using the glide bar without the roller to hold my laminate. That's because I'm using sample sheets and they wouldn't fit on the roll bar. When printing on heat transfer vinyl, for example, the color print easy from Caesar, I just want to print it and then I let it dry and then weed it. Then I apply the TTD mask. And then you can peel away the original backing from the Color Print Easy and then press it down onto a shirt. For a complete list of temperatures for all of the printable Caesar heat transfer vinyls, I put a link down to a PDF that has the temps times for all of the heat transfer vinyl in the video description down below. Well, as you've noticed, this video is already pretty long, so if you have any further questions, you can send them over to our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. And as always, every item that we sell comes with lifetime technical support, and you can reach our technical support team at support at uscutter.com. Thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this, and have yourself a wonderful day.